step into the flickering world of the silver screen, where time turns translucent, and imagination reigns supreme. Close your eyes and let the memory waves gently lap at the shores of your mind. Do you recall that very first encounter with the 1936 cinematic gem, The Invisible Ray? The crackling excitement as the lights dimmed, the air electrified with anticipation. It was a plunge into the unknown, a voyage into the fantastical, a journey that left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. Perhaps it was the mesmerizing tale that unfolded, drawing you into its web of mystery and science gone awry. Or maybe it was the unforgettable moments that held you captive, scenes etching themselves into your memory like delicate engravings on glass. A haunting glow of the invisible ray itself, casting an otherworldly shimmer that tugged at the edges of your reality. And oh, the performances that echoed through time, the actors breathing life into characters that danced between the visible and the unseen. But now, let's set the stage for a different kind of enchantment, as we journey through random facts about this cinematic marvel. Peel back the curtain and peek into the trivia that weaves its threads around the narrative. Discover the behind-the-scenes stories that shimmer like hidden constellations, waiting to be illuminated. From the creator's inspirations to the challenges they conquered, each detail adds a layer of richness to the tapestry of the invisible ray. So, take a moment to savor those memories of your first encounter with that timeless movie. Reflect on the scenes that stirred your imagination, the characters that stayed with you, and the emotions that swelled within. And as we delve into the depths of trivia, remember that every frame holds a universe of secrets, just waiting to be unearthed. Boris Karloff in Bela Lugosi's international roles in The Invisible Ray in a captivating display of cross-cultural acting. The 1936 film The Invisible Ray showcased the talents of Boris Karloff in Bela Lugosi in unexpected roles. Karloff, known for his quintessential portrayal of Frankenstein's monster, portrayed a Hungarian scientist, while Lugosi, famous for his portrayal of Count Dracula, took on the role of a Frenchman. The film's casting seemed to defy nationality, blurring the lines between real identities and the characters they brought to life on screen. Violet Kimball Cooper, who played the mother of Boris Karloff's character, added an intriguing twist to the cast. Remarkably, Cooper was only a mere fraction of a year older than Karloff himself. This casting choice raised eyebrows and sparked discussions about Hollywood's approach to age and character dynamics. One of the film's striking scenes early on features Jono's ruck projecting a view of Earth from outer space. The eerie sound effect accompanying the meteor's approach as it hurtles towards Earth became more than just an auditory element. Universal Pictures ingeniously repurposed the sound effect employing it consistently in their Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers movie serials. This creative recycling of sound showcased the resourcefulness of the studio in making the most of its assets. In The Invisible Ray, the convergence of talent from diverse backgrounds, the intriguing age dynamics, and the innovative sound repurposing all contributed to the film's unique appeal. As Hollywood continues to push boundaries, this 1936 gem stands as a testament to the industry's ability to surprise and capture Activate audiences. Unveiling the dark tale of 1,936 seconds, The Invisible Ray, Bella Lugosi shines as unexpected hero in the annals of cinematic history. The year 1936 brought forth a gem that captivated audiences and sparked conversations across the nation. The Invisible Ray, a riveting sci-fi thriller, graced the silver screens, leaving an indelible mark on the minds of movie -agors. But behind the scenes, a story of patience, innovation, and repurposed grandeur unfolded, a tale that enriches our understanding of this cinematic classic. The film's creation was no swift endeavor. Shooting commenced on September 17, 1935, continuing for over a month until October 25th. What ensued was a prolonged anticipation as the release faced a halt, owing to the intricate and groundbreaking special effects meticulously crafted by John P. Fulton. The visual marvels concocted by Fulton required time and precision, resulting in a delay that only heightened the curiosity of eager audiences. Finally, on January 10, 1936, the world witnessed the culmination of their wait as the Invisible Ray made its grand entrance to theaters. However, what truly sets this film apart from its contemporaries is the casting genius that defies convention. 
Bella Lugosi, known for his captivating portrayals of menacing characters, surprised audiences by stepping into the shoes of the hero, casting aside his sinister persona to embody a sympathetic figure. This departure from his norm added layers of complexity to the character, leaving viewers both intrigued and moved. Conversely, Boris Karloff, often hailed for his mastery of villainous roles, embraced his dark side with fervor, embracing the unsympathetic nature of his character. A stark departure from his penchant for evoking monster pathos, Karloff's portrayal captivated audiences in a different manner, showcasing his versatile range as an actor. Amidst the plot's twists and turns, a striking revelation surfaces. The Church of the Six Saints where a pivotal marriage takes place is not what it seems. This seemingly sacred setting is, in fact, a recycled gem from the past. Movie buffs may recognize it as the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral set from the 1923 Universal production The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Starring the legendary Lon Chaney, SR. The transformation of this backdrop, infused with historical resonance, speaks to the ingenuity of filmmakers who breathe life into pre existing elements. As we delve into the depths of the invisible ray, it becomes evident that this film is more than just a captivating story. It is a product of dedication, reinvention, and unexpected character portrayals that defy the norms of cinematic tradition. With each frame, the film invites us to reconsider our perceptions of its actors and settings, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of cinema. Unraveling the enigma of the invisible ray serves as a reminder that within the confines of a reel, there exists a universe of creativity and surprise. It's a tale of a delayed release, a role reversal, and the repurposing of cinematic history, all wrapped into one captivating narrative. Step into the darkness and let the rays of this cinematic masterpiece illuminate your imagination. Boris Karloff's high-flying prank on the set of The Invisible Ray in the annals of Hollywood tomfoolery, a memorable jest played out during the making of the 1936 cinematic gem, The Invisible Ray. Actress Frances Drake reminisced in 1986 about a spirited prank orchestrated by the crew, starring none other than the film's luminary, Boris Karloff. The plot, elevate Karloff on a platform designed for his descent into a treacherous radium pit, a pivotal scene in the movie. Yet, mischief prevailed as the platform hoisted him high above the pit's rim and then, unceremoniously, left him suspended there as the crew broke for lunch. Drake recalled the episode with a chuckle, affirming that Karloff's reaction was nothing short of admirable. The actor, renowned for his roles in classic horror, proved to be a good sport about the jest, showcasing his characteristic poise and playfulness. This behind-the-scenes anecdote adds a delightful twist to the legacy of the Invisible Ray, revealing a camaraderie that transcended the silver screen. But the story doesn't end there. Karloff's aerial escapade took on an unexpected afterlife. The very scene of his lofty interlude, as he was lowered toward the ominous Radium X meteor, found itself repurposed in a 1939 Universal serial titled The Phantom Creeps, featuring the legendary Bella Lugosi. The twist. In this cinematic evolution, Karloff effectively played double duty, becoming Lugosi's stand-in as the latter was lowered into a similar perilous pit. The convergence of these two horror icons in a shared cinematic moment offers a serendipitous connection across films and years. Beyond these captivating tales, the movie's legacy extends further. The set that housed Dr. Ruck's laboratory, a central location in The Invisible Ray, morphed into new incarnations. The very same backdrop materialized as the lair of Ming the Merciless in the science fiction classic Flash Gordon, a testament to the resourceful repurposing that defined Hollywood's golden age. Likewise, the set underwent a metamorphosis to become Countess Zaleska's castle and Dracula's daughter, showcasing its chameleon-like versatility. The Invisible Ray not only captivated audiences with its enigmatic narrative, but also left an indelible mark on the annals of film history. From Karloff's high-flying prank to the scene's cameo in Lugosi's cinematic universe and the set's transformative journey, the movie's influence endures as a testament to the creativity and camaraderie of Hollywood's bygone era. Radiant Secrets of 1936 Seconds The Invisible Ray, unveiling the cinematic enigma in a mesmerizing tale of science and the human psyche. The 1936 film The Invisible Ray emerges as a triumph of cinematic innovation. Helmed by director Lambert Hillier, this sci-fi masterpiece weaves a narrative of brilliance 
and trepidation. At its core lies the astonishing performance of silver screen legends Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi, whose on-screen chemistry propels the film into unparalleled realms of intrigue. However, the enigma doesn't halt at the narrative alone. The set that brought to life Dr. Jono's Rux Laboratory, a crucible of scientific exploration, held secret passages of its own. Astonishingly, this very set found a second life as Ming the Merciless Dominion and the iconic Flash Gordon, and as Countess Zaleska's eerie castle and Dracula's daughter, proving the remarkable adaptability of Hollywood's creative stages. Behind the scenes, the film's inception was followed by an intensive shooting schedule, spanning from September 17th to October 25th, 1935. Yet, the grand reveal to eager audiences was delayed. The indomitable John P. Fulton, a pioneer in special effects, toiled extensively to breathe life into the film's otherworldly elements. This meticulous craftsmanship caused a brief postponement until its eventual release on January 10, 1936, adding to the film's aura of anticipation and mystique. The invisible ray defies cinematic conventions of its time, traversing the boundaries of science, morality, and the imperceptible. As rays of brilliance continue to illuminate its legacy, one thing remains certain. This film remains an enduring testament to the art of storytelling and the relentless pursuit of cinematic innovation. As we bid adieu, the luminous tapestry of the invisible ray continues to weave its enigmatic threads through time. This cinematic masterpiece, a radiant gem born in the heart of 1936, has held its invisible sway over countless souls. As the curtains draw to a close, I implore you to pause and let the echoes of its brilliance resonate within your own narrative. The journey we've embarked upon, traversing the realms of science, morality, and the intangible threads of destiny, mirrors our own intricate paths. Just as the rays of the invisible beckon us to ponder the mysteries of existence, let us consider the invisible rays that have touched our own lives. Perhaps you found solace in its ethereal glow during a quiet midnight screening or marveled at its allure as the story unfolded before you. Allow those memories to unfurl like tendrils of light from the invisible ray itself. Reflect upon the emotions it evoked, the thoughts it kindled, and the whispers of nostalgia it awakened. Whether you were entranced by the enigmatic science of Karloff's character or enraptured by Loy's portrayal of moral dilemmas, your impressions are precious fragments of a shared cinematic tapestry. In the boundless expanse of human experiences, the invisible ray remains a guiding star, offering us a mirror to gaze upon our own reflection. Your connection with this timeless masterpiece is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, reminding us that within the realm of cinema, moments crystallize into memories that stay etched in our hearts. As we lower the curtain on our reverie, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for indulging in this journey of reminiscence. Your thoughts, memories, and reflections breathe life into the essence of this movie, weaving a collective narrative that transcends time itself. Thank you for sharing this moment, a sliver of your story intertwined with the brilliance of the invisible ray. With appreciation and anticipation, eagerly awaiting your thoughts, 